Well, 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 welcome back. Didn't think I'd see you around this part. Welcome back to the Average, and without further ado, let's reveal the watercolor palettes. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. Revealing my whole setup here. Is this much bigger than you thought it was gonna be? Because <laughs> it is for me. I, I thought it was gonna be like that, but yeah, big, big old palette. Let's get the plastic off so I can actually just get into this. <laughs> no nails. My nails, what happened to them? Yeah. So, first impressions, first impressions. Nice. I hate this like white line that they put. I don't know what that is, but I really like the, ooh, I really like the packaging. I really like this pink like kind of, I don't know, makeup palette-y kind of vibe that it's giving off. So let's open it up. Ah, so many colors. These are definitely definitely looking chalky to me they're looking like those kind of like watercolors that you get from like a kid's palette when you're younger but i will say that this was 15 pounds which is probably quite cheap for a watercolor palette of this size um so it probably is going to be a little bit chalky but we'll find out well, that's why i'm here i'm going to test it for you guys it can't just be beautiful it has to work as well comes with this little brush when i was looking online i was like that looks like a rubbish brush but they have surprised me in the past that's kind of nice kind of nice that looks weird underneath so i'm just gonna keep <laughs> let's gonna keep that on there uh but yeah let's get into it Whew, i don't know what that i was like some kind of fancy transition yeah oh what's this you caught me uh yeah these are some character design for my newest comic that i'm working on in case you guys are following along with that you might be interested in this page but if you're not i guess you're not but also my comics, my old ones are available in Etsy down below, just in case you're interested. Enough of that. Enough. Sorry about that. Don't know who she was, she came in. But yeah, I want to do some sketches for this painting before I do it, because I feel like I always dive into paintings and I don't necessarily plan them out very well and they don't always turn out how I want. Decided I want to do like a woman in like water and yeah just the idea of that is kind of cool sorry about the train again i'm so sorry i live in a flat by the train and i hate it but yeah i just want to have like you know that studio uh studio ghibli film what am i saying the ponyo film where the woman is in the water and she has like the hair like flowing out and stuff and it looks so cool i want to kind of emulate that but then also like make it mine do like a different thing with it if that makes sense not just like studio ghibli uh so i'm just i'm looking at a lot of references of women in water which sounds strange but there's lots of if you go on pinterest there's so many nice like beautiful uh photography work of women just like submerged in like green water and it always looks so cool i don't know why it just does <laughs> so i'm just looking at lots of uh, images like i said and just kind of collating them uh, i really love i don't know why like lily pads and the way that they just kind of grow over each other and i think it's really interesting and i really like the idea of having like really 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 dark areas so it's sort of more spoopy i didn't i did not just say spoopy <sighs> please don't leave the video so it's sort of more spooky than you might imagine yeah like who is she she looks pretty but maybe she'll bite your head off you don't know that's the vibe i want to create <laughs> and i think that's kind of a sketch done i don't know if i should do more than that quite lazy with this i guess um it appears to be the truth and we're acknowledging it and yeah i think i'm going with that sorry if you couldn't really see that i was planning to do more I have my behemoth of water. Cool. All right, I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't like painted with watercolor for a long time. So I'm a bit like anxious to see how these are as well. Like if they're any good, let's just do like a light wash first. Can just like block out the shapes, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna approach this how I would approach um, doing something with alcohol markers. But yeah, yeah. Why not? Not messed up yet. Yeah, being the operative word, of course. I'm a little bit darker for it here. Right, so I really wanted to do green kind of colour. And um, so these paints 
are not too bad so far. They're not chalky as I thought they would be. I'm being really, really careful with um, like the, the lightness of this painting because basically what happens when I do watercolor is I always go in too dark straight away and it always like does not work out for me. And it kind of put me off watercolors for a while and I liked you guys, if you've seen my stuff, you know that I like, uh, um, what am I saying? Wash a bit more. So I'm trying to be really light with these washes just to block out like shapes first of all. Yeah, I really want some dark values just around her face to like really highlight these areas and then spread into like a light green of this like bog that she's in. I don't know if it's a bog, but you know, it's probably not a bog because it does have lily pads. Uh, is that how that works? Is it a bog if it's like mud and nothing grows in it except like gross things? Or is it a bog just cause? Who knows? Who knows the answers to these questions? Comment down below. These are nice. I'm liking this. I feel like I've given it a real shot as well because I'm giving them, I'm using the Archer's paper, which is actually like quite expensive and good watercolor paper. I do see some like pooling and I don't know if that's like chalkiness. I think it might be. So it's not like the best paint, but for 15, 15 pounds, which is what, like $20? I don't know, maybe less, maybe more. I am not a bank. All right, I'm going darker. I'm, I'm tired of it <laughs> I'm like I need to do light washes but now I'm like no going in okay not bad not bad uh yes I am an artist I want to just quickly sketch out this hand because I feel like I was just got bored of sketching I say sketching it's kind of not really sketching is it Ooh hair came off oh i've got to try the um other brush haven't i this little brush i feel like i'm jumping around too much in this painting and i'm just not focusing on certain areas but whatever yeah the brush is good yeah i like it it's uh pretty decent it's not like flaking off any hairs and it's picking up water really well it's it's a nice brush i thought it was going to be a bit crappier especially considering it is like a free brush you usually expect like the add-on stuff I don't know I feel like I'm always always dubious of like paint sets that are like here is a free brush because it's just it is something that you would use when you're a kid in like art school and art school in like art class so that would never be like that good because obviously schools are underfunded yeah these it's nice I like it let's block out uh, the areas of her face I feel like her head looks weird but we can fix that because it's like a bit know what's going on with her head. We can fix it. So, a bit of peachiness. Because uh, she, yeah, the uh, reference image I'm using, she does have a bit of like red, yellowy undertones of her skin. Yeah, it's coming together. I'm just building up layers of paint basically and trying to figure out where everything is gonna be. So it's kind of like just a step-by-step -step process at the moment. Also, I'm I, I'm really impatient with watercolor and I need to wait for like the paint to dry a little bit before I go in and I just, I can't do that. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like, no, I need to, I need paint, I need paint. I'm like, come on, man, have some patience. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, see over here. It's looking a little bit chalky mm. So I can't say that they're the best paints ever because if they're giving me chalkiness then That's not great. Is it? I'm gonna wait for these layers to dry and then I'm gonna continue Okay, may or may not have helped it a little bit along with some hair drying action. <laughs> Although I'm too impatient for this. I need it done uh, But yeah, this I've realized her cone head here is like really bothering me. So I'm just trying to I'm gonna fix that a little bit. Um, Conehead is never a good, you know, thing to have. I said Conehead's never a good thing to have and then I was like, oh my God, the people in the comments are gonna be like, well, I have a Conehead and you, <laughs> like that is my YouTube anxiety. I was like, oh no, have I offended someone by saying that? Well, actually, I think you'll find that Coneheads exist and you're in trouble now. Yeah, I shouldn't get carried away trying to do all the details because I need to rough out the areas first. And I feel like I'm just, just being super like distracted with each part of the painting, like trying to do thing over here and then something over there. And it's like, well, that ain't it. Uh, I feel like her face is too long. Oh no, I think I've made her chin too small. I want the lily pads to be really, really bright green. A tip. Uh, if you do have like chalky paints, a tip that um, a teacher taught me once was kind of, actually kind of clever. So what you do is you get the paints and you you just like keep 
mixing water into them and less like getting a really thick layer and then you can get like you know if you want to be more opaque with it you can just use like loads of pigment pigment on your brush like load it up and sometimes that really helps because I think with chalky paints you can never get like enough pigment um, so it really helped um, when I was a kid using chalky paints in school. It was a good clever idea from her actually as a teacher and I think that's really clever like using what you have in front of you rather than like complaining just like okay let's try this out and uh, yeah kudos to her don't know where she is now I was friends with her daughter I remember I won like an art competition at school and her daughter was like how could you win over me like she got really bitter about it and it was like whoa that's your reaction it was bad and when I was a kid I was like I'm sorry because you know I was a stupid kid but now I'd be like bah -ha, you suck <laughs> Like, be happy for your friend, you weirdo. But yeah, we, we were children, so, you know, fair. You know, coming to terms with life being cruel and your mum's an art teacher, but guess what? Your friend who doesn't have as much privilege as you <laughs> beat you in an art competition. And I know, yeah, I remember like getting up to get the award, like, because it was like done in an assembly. And she was just like, wasn't talking to me. Eh? Wow. Can you not hiss at each other? That would be so splendid and nice. Can you not walk on my painting either? Yeah, cheers. But yeah, I felt like shame for getting this award and I was like, I can't show that I'm too happy. <laughs> How mean was that? And then afterwards she was like, oh no, I'm really happy for you. I think her mum probably spoke to her like, you can't, you can't be annoyed, it's subjective. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyway, that's my life. And now I'm an art YouTuber, sort of, kind of. Well, I do do art for a living. Like, I am a graphic designer, so maybe I'll go back in time and be like, guess what, B, I, uh, I deserve this. Because <laughs> I followed it, did you? I don't think she did. I don't. I wonder if I have her on Facebook. Probably do, in the depths of Facebook somewhere. Just don't let people steal your shine, I guess, is the uh, point of the story there. I think I was probably about, how old was I? Probably like 11, so, <laughs> you know, let her off the hook for that. <laughs> I wonder, like, it would be so funny to look at that now, that poster, and be like, maybe she was right. <laughs> maybe she did do a better thing, that would be so funny. <laughs> maybe, like, she was right to be like, why did they pick you? <laughs> Yeah, it's so strange. I've always been like quite insecure about my art. Probably you can tell by the way I've named myself. And I remember I won another competition. Like it was like an outside painting competition. And I think I must have been about, I don't know, 15. And I won like, I don't remember what it was. It might have been like highly commended or something, not even the main prize or anything. Um, but it was like, whoa, really? Okay, I guess you like that weird style I'm doing. It's weird to think, oh, I've won like stuff when I was a kid and then I didn't really think art was for me, which is strange because obviously it is. But yeah, don't let people uh, tell you what you can or cannot do. You don't need to win competitions either because I won a couple stuff, obviously. Wasn't that like, wow, but <laughs> I'm like in, <laughs> I just realized what I was saying. I was like, when I was in middle school, I won an art competition. <laughs> Isn't that impressive, guys? <laughs> oh dear. I mean, you know what I mean. I just... You, I, I got given confidence about art when I was younger, is what I'm trying to say. So why am, you know, why was I always like insecure about it? I guess that's just the way it is with artists. Pesto, please don't walk on my stuff. Please. No, this water is paint water. Thank you. Goodbye. Yep, thanks for your time. I don't know what that nonsense rant was that was just going on, but yeah. Okay, so thumb is here. And the finger, it comes down like this. I have completely buffed this up. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. That hand is much smaller than that hand. Mistakes were made. It doesn't matter, it's just, we just live in our lives here guys, it's just a painting, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be fun and we just need to express ourselves, you know, it doesn't need to be the best thing we've ever seen, it can just be for fun and for learning, 
and practice, okay? Okay, guys, you got that, okay? Go for it, be free. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, thanks, Steph. I know that already. Listen to me, everyone. I won a middle school art competition, okay? So I win at life. <laughs> I won an art competition when I was 11 years old, so I know everything. Um, that's sarcasm for those who don't understand sarcasm, just to let you know that I'm not a horrible person, so please leave me alone in the comments. I'm just kidding. Everyone's like, well, just doing like some deeper values, I guess, on her face to just kind of bring it together. I kind of like the idea of this. Um, you can see that it's just kind of like shapes. And I kind of like the idea of that with watercolour rather than having like this whole um, completed um, super pigmented area but just like different areas of texture and interest points. I really like that so I'm just going to build those up for now and we'll see where we'll see where it goes basically. This is supposed to be, you're supposed to enjoy this, is why you like have a career in this, like hello. Otherwise, what's the point? Just go get any old job, like, hello? <laughs> Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Just my life, my life. Okay, so we're sort of starting to get the pieces together. We're building it up slowly. Just going in. Not liking her face that much. Just need some like shadows, I think. I think her eye is like weird over here. Well, doesn't matter. Not painting the Sistine Chapel. We are just learning. Yeah, I'm kind of liking how it's coming out. It is like, yeah, the paint is slightly chalky. But you know what? I kind of like the texture it gives oh my god i made a mistake horrible mistake on her nose there oh that's her nose now <laughs> i think i'm just i'm but maybe i'm liking them mostly because i'm enjoying the process rather than the paints themselves i don't know they are super nice to paint with they're just like a little bit chalky that's all you can forgive some chalkiness right for a cheaper price I might have gone a bit too dark <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that I was like go slowly with the lights and then go dark and uh, what's happened is I've just completely done the darkness first and I'm not sorry for it to be honest because I I like it <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is like bring out some white gouache just to highlight areas of like where the water is kind of super bright and I think that will like make it look huge so I've just got um, some normal uh, gouache because I have like this pot to hand it's kind of handy sometimes to use uh, ooh, that was a bit of a decision that I just made impulsively so was that I'm not sure about this white gouache now <laughs> like maybe this wasn't a good decision <laughs> but Maybe it was, who knows? That's what we're gonna find out. I'm not quite like sure what I'm doing, but I'm just looking at my reference image and seeing where the light kind of hits the water and trying to see if I can like emulate these like ripples that are coming from her hands um it's not looking terrible but 
it's not looking great but I'm enjoying it I think it's working to kind of signify like this movement in the water I don't know what do you guys think it's ripples okay um yeah this was a good experiment I yeah definitely still don't love watercolors as much as I like gouache because even in the end I resorted to using a little bit of gouache and was like oh I like it now um so <laughs> for me in particular I was like hmm I realise that gouache is my thing a bit more, but yeah, I, I think these paints are a really nice palette, I think it looks pretty, and I think, yeah, it does the job, they're not the best paints in the world, but they're relatively cheap, and you get all the colours, so maybe they're good for like a beginner or someone like me who can just experiment with using watercolour again after a long hiatus or whatever. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think because I think like this is probably the final thing for me. I've really enjoyed experimenting with this watercolour palette and I think, yeah, um, it is cool. It's very nice, it's quite chunky, uh, quite sturdy. So overall, I think it's a good palette for the price point. It's not the best palette, but it's not the worst, that's for sure. And here's the finished painting. It's not finished. It's um deliberately unfinished if that's a term we can use because I kind of like the way that it looks and I don't want to go too much in it but yeah let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching and uh see you next time bye